everybody in this episode we are going to make a paper clip we've been using some tools that are game changers the linear and circular pattern the mirror tool um, the shell tool and now it's time to use the sweep tool all right so i'm going to start in our beginner folder and hit create and document and we're going to call this paper clip and please throw your initials on the back end of that okay um we are going to need the front view and the top view. Uh, the right view we don't need, and so just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna turn that right view off. I'm also gonna turn off the top view for now and come back to it in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start a sketch by clicking sketch, and then right on the front view, I'm going to turn the to the front view, sorry. Grab a line, start on the origin, and then go up and over, and we're just going to um, make sure that all of my lines are going to be at right angles to each other and you're noticing that I'm not paying attention to dimensions uh, until right now. First of all, I've got the line still connected so I need to hit escape on there and just in case you um, do not have one of your corners at a perpendicular or right angle, go ahead and click on that and then you can click on there and you can just kind of um, hit escape. And when you hover over it, you know, you'll see that that's at a right angle and there are right angles everywhere. So that should be all good. Let's grab a dimension tool and let's start dimensioning. So this very first line that we drew is going to be three inches. Zoom back a little bit. And this top horizontal line is going to be one inch. We're drawing a huge paper clip, by the way. Uh, this one is going to be five inches. Bottom horizontal line is 0.75. This vertical line in there is four. And this small horizontal line is 0.5. And the final vertical line is going to be three. Man, I was really close on those. Okay. We are going to grab the circle, and you can do this with arches. I like doing it with circles. I'm gonna hover over this horizontal line. You'll see a gold box show up. I'm gonna click on that. That's the midpoint. Then I'm gonna to go to the outside. I'm gonna do that same thing. Go to the middle of this horizontal line, click the middle, go to the outside, and go all the way down to the bottom. Go down, find the midpoint, which is this gold box. Click it, go to the outside, click it again. And now I'm gonna use this trim tool and trim away that part trim away the bottom part of this circle and two horizontal lines inside there and the top circle there and there and you'll notice that is starting to look like a paper clip hit the green check box i'm going to go back to my isometric view and i'm going to turn on the top view okay now i need to grab another sketch and click on that top plane and go to top. And this is where we're gonna grab a circle. We're gonna go back to the origin. That's why starting at the origin is so important. Um, and using the sweep, sweep, sweep tool, I first created a path that was the paperclip. Now I'm creating a circle and right on the origin. And this circle is going to be 0.15. Go ahead and hit the green check mark there and go back to the isometric view. And now we're going to use this sweep tool. So we need to click on the circle that we just drew. And then I'm going to click on this. It says sweep path. So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to say I want to follow there. And you'll notice that it started following it. And I'm going to continue clicking on the path that I created, which is that paper clip. The curves the straight lines, and then I've got this isometric view. Hit the green check mark, and it looks like a paperclip. Just one last thing, highlight it, right click on it, say assign material, and go ahead and make this like aluminum, and I'll just click just straight up aluminum, hit the green check box, and you're all done. Make sure you turn it in or show your teacher. Great job using the sweep tool.